All right. CIS 125. This is the Wednesday course. 831.16. This is a little review down here. <clears throat> First of all, we talked about hardware, storage, actual memory, the processor, arithmetic logic unit, registers. We talked about storing things in variables and memory. Talk about input output, a little bit about a user interface and the user experience. We talked about the electronic bus, moving the information, and then of course the computer has ports to get information in and out. Then we went over here. <clears throat> the idea is you get program design, which we're going to talk a lot about in this course, but we need a little background first. <clears throat> Once you get program, once you go through the design, then you can start writing the source code in a particular language that can be compiled or interpreted into object code, and the object code is linked in the executable code. Now we're going to do that in a lot of cases. We'll write source code in Python, and we'll use a Python interpreter to run the code and see if it works great way to design software. I mean to work with software during the design. Last thing up here, we just make note of computers in the room go through the IT area, actually go through a router in the IT area, then there's fiber over to a router here on campus and we have a couple connections out to our internet service provider. Using Canvas, then we're coming in and out of Canvas that's hosted on their own servers and so forth and they too then would have an ISP coming in and out. So then on 831 16 we did spent quite a bit of time reviewing the syllabus. We reviewed how Canvas works, overview and how to use it. Um, we went back into the computer science circles, made sure you know how to do those, and we marked me as a guru, Mike Dirksen, and we talked a little bit about time on task. Okay? I also talked about taking this information and forming some kind of journal for that as you move along. We want to make sure we can log in the work server one, work server two, private addresses on campus, and we have the public addresses that you would use off campus. So if you're coming in through the internet, you'll need to use these public addresses in order to get in and access the two servers. This was the initial setup you should have change this to your own password at the command prompt that would allow you to change the password these boxes run on Linux and there are all kinds of resources out there about Linux alright so that is the start on the course and we get into the more nitty-gritty in the upcoming weeks.